Hey everyone, I'm Ian, also known as Not Ian Sands from Learn How to Edit Stuff, and today we're gonna be creating shapes in Adobe After Effects. And I understand that that might sound a little elementary, creating shapes, that's pretty basic stuff. It's not, because once you understand the importance of shapes and shape layers in After Effects, I feel like you're gonna think differently. By the end of this series, you will have your own animated logo that looks something like this. And of course, if you would like to download the project file for this lesson, it is available to you in the video description below. So go ahead and download that. Otherwise, let's open up Adobe After Effects and let's start making shapes. Okay, so in this video, we're going to be making our star character from scratch only using shape layers. First, come up to layer, go to new shape layer, and then where is our shape? Well, we have to create it first, okay? So on our timeline, we see the shape layer itself. So let's tool that down. Then come over here to the right hand side and click on the arrow next to add. And we see a bunch of options. So basically this top section here is what shape do you want to make? The middle section is what do you want to add to it? And the last part here is what do you want it to do? Now, we don't need to add all three of these things to make a shape layer, but these properties are very powerful and we'll cover them in a future video. But for now, we're going to just create a simple poly star. It looks like something happened in our composition, but we aren't going to see anything until we add a stroke or a fill to our shape. So let's hit add again and add a fill. When working with shape layers, there's really two types of people, people who work in the top bar and people who work down in the timeline. You can quickly access a lot of stuff from the top bar, but more detailed stuff on the timeline. It just depends on which side you wanna be on. So up at the top, I'm gonna to click on our fill and change it to a nice golden yellow. Now from the timeline, if we open up our Polystar Path options, we see a whole bunch of properties that we can manipulate and also animate. I would definitely recommend playing with all of these because honestly, it's fun. Throw down some random keyframes and watch your shape morph into all kinds of things. But that's not this tutorial. This tutorial is about making a star character using shape layers. So I'm gonna puff out the inner radius just a little bit and give it some outer roundness to make it a little bit more playful. Now to make the eyes, I'm going to add a new shape layer, add an ellipse, fill it black, then unclick the uniform scale property to make it an oval. I will now add a second ellipse onto the same layer, place it at the top of my hierarchy, add another fill and make it white, again dragging it up to the top of the hierarchy, then shrink it down small to make the little white gleam in the eye. Just remember that all of these shape layer properties work the same way as everything else, from the top down. So if you don't see something that you're doing, chances are there's something blocking it in your hierarchy. I will of course name my layers to keep my project nice and neat, then simply duplicate the left eye and move it over to the right and change the name to right eye. All right, looking good so far. We're gonna make the mouth in the next video, but for right now, I'm gonna drop an effect on my star body. I'll click on the body layer, then use the video copilot effects console by hitting control and spacebar, search for plastic, then apply CC plastic to my star body. Mess around with the settings a little bit to change it up and give it some upper left edge plastic type vibes. And now this is looking really cute and fun for our logo animation. As a complete in total side note, you can find some pre-made shapes in the effects and presets tab. All you have to do is drop them on an empty shape layer and you are good to go. You can also preview them under animation, browse presets, which will open them in Adobe Bridge. I know, at the beginning of this video, you were probably like, shapes, this is elementary school. And now you're like, wow, everything in the universe suddenly makes sense. Shape layers are actually very important in After Effects and for motion design in general, and they kind of work in their own unique way. So my advice to you is just kind of dive in there and start playing with all the settings and really understand how it all works because that's how you're gonna learn the best. And maybe from watching awesome tutorials, as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Creative Cloud YouTube channel so you can learn from more creators like myself. If you liked me, you want to find me, youtube.com slash learn how to edit stuff. Thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.